Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Hello, everybody. We're back. Welcome back. Oh, Nick, your headlight is extraordinarily bright. I can hardly see your face oh, due to that sorry, like, man, massive, sorry, sorry. Let me just, massive uh, white light there. Oh, that's, wow. ooh, yeah, thank you, Nick. Thank you. That makes life a lot easier. Also, um, I don't know if you've noticed, Nick, but we've got like some kind of weird microwave-looking device here that's got a warning triangle on it. Um, that is just like I, a line. I mean, that looks suspiciously like a 3D printer to me, Isaac. But you know what? Right. I'm sure it can microwave too, Isaac. I'm sure <laughs> it, it can microwave too. It could be a 3D too. printer come microwave. You know, it could be like a mix of both. Yeah, you know? like, all I feel in like one, that Isaac. That really is where the future's going, right? All in one. Um, I can't help but notice that it's got like little, little, like a warning that's got stink lines. Is that like... Yeah, it's because it's stinky, it's Isaac. Become stinky plastic smell. <laughs> stinky when in operation. All right. I mean, that makes sense, yeah, just like me, Isaac. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> no. Oh, Nick, 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 Nick. <gasps> oh, stay still, stay still, stay still. Hold on. I have flower petals. Do I have berries? I've got beryl nuts. Can be eaten to restore health. What else do I have? I've got leaves. I'm going to try these beryl nuts, okay? Why do they walk backwards? Please stop walking. Oh, I've got a very good view of it. Here we go. Hello. Here, my friend. Take these nuts. Uh, that can be taken out of context. Please eat. Eat, please eat my nuts. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around him. Okay. I'm gonna try and like very gently. I'm gonna pat him. Oh, oh he ran! Oh, Gosh, he ran away, doggo. Oh, I, I don't think this is the right thing. This is a barrel nut. I don't think he likes my nut snake. I think he's oh, repulsed by my well, nuts. I think he wants berries. Common you know? mistake. I don't, not nuts. Isaac, common mistake. Yeah. Oh man. Everyone, they always come to me like looking for berries, and I can only give them nuts, and it. Uh, it hurts every time that they, they look at me, Nick, and they just, they, people use me for my nuts, and I, I hate it. Awful you know? behavior, Isaac. Awful behavior. It's disgusting. Yeah, actually, this might be a, a berry. Uh, leaves and flower petals. Anyway, Nick, last time, we actually made some serious progress. We've now got mm. 18 iron plates in here. We could really do with this uh, being made faster. I don't know if there's like a real, an easy way for us to do that, at least not just yet. Um, right sure. now, it's our power, which yeah, I, I, was I guess say, is a yeah, problem we can. Yeah, up. Yeah, we can easily fix. Uh, but we got our new miner down, Nick, over by the limestone. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do is try and get that conveyor belt, like, all the way back over here. Um, if you want to look towards making another miner that we can put on our copper, sure. so we can start bringing that I'm in as well. grabbing some leaves. Here we go. I'll put them in the biomass generators. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like where your head's at, Nick. Also, I did notice that in the hub terminal, as part of hub upgrade 5, which I'm going to select as a milestone for us, um, we do get a biomass burner, like a standalone machine called the biomass burner, which burns various forms of biomass to generate energy for the power grid, has no input um, and must therefore be fed biomass manually. So I don't know if that's just the same thing we've got now, but we can put more of them down. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mm. know if that's just that we can put... Because that's what we've got. We've already got biomass burners. I assume that's what that is, but maybe we just need more for, yeah. for more power, maybe? That would make sense. Like, like multi-core, Isaac. Multitasking. Yeah. Yeah, I will work on that miner for copper. Um, I'm looking at that hub up with grade five, man. That's where I want to be at this episode. D I'm, tell me about it, right? That. that extra inventory slot, man. Like, <laughs> I, I can't, can't wait. wait. We wait my whole life for that. It's going to be so good. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I honestly cannot wait. Um, I do think we should make... Do you think we should start crafting the limestone into concrete before we... Uh, before bringing it back or after bringing it back? Um, the, well, the question is, is that do we need limestone for anything other than concrete? Not yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe later on in the game, I assume limestone is not used solely and only for the production of concrete, right? Right, unless it's concrete that's required for other things. That is entirely possible, yeah, like the fact that iron ingots are required for other things, not necessarily iron ore. Yeah. Um, that's, that's possible, Nick. I think, sure. I think what we'll do is we'll start by just crafting the iron, the limestone into concrete. And if we need anything else later on down the line, we can always Re change that up, right? Sure. Yeah, for sure. For okay. sure. Okay. I'd also make, like, you know, point out some soft, some soft, smart targets for today's episode. I would love to be able to get some, like, um, some base foundations going today. I feel like right. that could, uh, that could look quite nice. Mm, you know? you you know, give you know, it a bit of a body kit, right? Yeah, exactly. Give it its own like uh, its own identity, you know. Yeah, make it ours, Isaac. Really make it ours, okay? Really make it ours. Are you a fan of uh, smart targets, Nick? Do you like do you like smart targets? Smart targets? Sure, Isaac. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Did you do that in school where they were like, "You got to make a smart target"? No, Isaac. I've never heard of no, smart you didn't target do that. in my life. Oh. Oh. 
oh my goodness, you never heard of smart targets. Hold the phone. Like it was a whole big thing when when we were in in school. They were like, you know, right? you've got to make a tar- you've got to make a target, and it's got to be a smart target. You know, no no dumb targets in oh, this school. Okay, okay, not about dumb targets. And smart targets are, are, are targets that are specific, measurable, agreed upon is what it says here. But I don't think that's what we had. Okay. Um, realistic and time bound wow. so it's, it's about making a target that is smart right because i could say for example that i am going to i don't know make eight million dollars this year right that's sure. not a smart target nick you know that's a target but it's not a smart target because it's or i could say i'm just gonna make i'm gonna make eight million dollars you know right. that, at that point it's no longer time bound it's also not it's specific but it's not really like realistic it's not realistic right you know, so you've got yeah, it's just like a, a smart target it has like a set of rules for your targets, right? To make them smart. I'm surprised you didn't you didn't do I this, mean, thing, you know? I, I this is this is new. This is a whole new concept oh, to me, I say. Oh, I am smart targets. Amazed. Holy crap! Like throughout the course of high school, Nick, I maybe had to do a million smart targets. Like the start of every year, Jeez. it was always like, "What are your targets for the year? Make sure they're smart targets, attainable." That's what. Uh, a means attainable. Wow. Um, we just they just said, yeah, do your work, bro. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And that's how it worked. That's how, oh, I, that's man. how it worked for me. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. You know, that's yeah. freaking interactive iPhone targets crap that you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man. Yeah, smart I mean, targets. You know, Jeez Christ. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, Nick. You know, in my school, they were asking, they they spent the first four weeks of school being trying to get us to write down smart targets. For your school, they just, you know, they got targets down day one and then they spent the next four weeks actually teaching you things. So maybe. Yeah, rather you know, than maybe freaking that's... doing these abbreviations <laughs> for smart targets. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm actually amazed you've not heard of it, though. That's uh, that's insane, Nick. I really thought you would have. Uh, smart really phone, you'd have heard smart about targets, with smart. Yeah. Smart ass. Maybe that's. I see. <laughs> maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe they were trying to. Maybe, maybe they were trying to get down with the kids. You know, like everything's Probably. smart these days. Let's get down with the kids. I mean, to be fair, things. You know, this was at a time when things weren't smart. You know, like it wasn't like. This was before the. Uh, invention of of like smart devices you know back when i was in school and like all all devices were dumb you know right and we specifically called them that they were like hey go get the dumb printer you know i'll go <laughs> use the dumb computer <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough man <laughs> oh. i feel like we should switch you know i feel like we should go back to calling things if things are not smart nick don't call them smart you know make specifically point them out and ridicule them for being dumb you know Machine size, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I've really run into some unfortunate luck here, Isaac. So our nearest copper vein um, has like a big old cliff next to it. Um, and right. this miner is very tall and it's hitting the cliff. So oh. I can't put this miner, no matter how I rotate it, onto this copper vein, which is really is annoying. There- is there like a a bump in the middle of the copper vein that you can mine down? Is there a a like what? a bump? Because I, I like a like a just like a big old bit of rock in the middle that looks like it's sticking up. Yes, there is. Mine that because I feel like that might break. And at which point you're usually able to put the miner down on it. Okay, I will give it a try at least. I'll give I, it a I go. feel like because I, I could shift the miner down a bit when it was snapping around, and even in its down position. Um, it wasn't playing very nice, but I've broken that. Okay, so let's try again. Uh, do, 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 just one minor, please. Oh, that's actually worked. You're legend. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. He's done it. Ooh. Okay, I've also just connected up power to our uh, limestone miner as well. So we should start mining limestone nice. any minute now. Oh, yeah, there, there, there goes the, the big old drill spinning up, cool. grinding down. Getting that limestone for us. Oh, I love it, Nick. I love it. Amazing. Just clear the path a little bit here. We have our conveyor belt does go right through a tree. So I feel <laughs> like it's um we might bit want to of, just some uh, bit of some interference of nature yeah. there, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, beautiful. Alright, now I just need to I guess I need to find out what we need to make a constructor. All right? Sure. Um we're also gonna need to get power over to the copper minor now um, yes 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 so it's we'll not particularly that. difficult it's mostly just copper wire we need 500 copper wire nick for that home upgrade fine i know do you see I that know. 
Jeez. Now, that seems like a hell of a lot, but I actually think it's more doable than you think. Right. Like, I have 155 copper, in, uh, copper ore to make ingots, and I think that will actually get us about halfway. Right. On the wire front. Um, but what I'll do for now is I will make a lot of cable and um, and power that copper miner to get copper just on the side. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my big questions here is whether or not we can speed up the rate at which our machines work. I have to assume we can at some point, right? Sure. Like give them, give them upgrades. Oh man, like, oh that's that's cool. I, I have to assume that someone there's a way for us to speed these up. It's quite possible they taught us to put more of them down, maybe. Um, but I'm not sure. Nick, look inside this machine real quick. Did What's you that? notice there's a little little switch in the bottom right? Yeah, I did. Know. I noticed this last episode actually. It's like it's a nice little switch. Like it flicks and everything. I know. It's and it crazy. makes a little switch oh, sound effect. I love it. I know. It's it's so satisfying. It's Nick. so satisfactory. Isaac. Oh, it oh. is. Nick. Yeah. Oh man. Do you have? I mean, I feel like. You know, not to not to dig on the game, but I feel like the word satisfactory has negative connotations sometimes. Like if something's satisfactory, it means like it's it's good enough. Yeah, like it's, it's okay. It's only just good enough. When you when you go to an airport or a train station, it's got that little pole with the little um thing on it with the five buttons with the smiley yeah, face and then the, of course, the, yeah. the slightly less smiley face and then the the mediocre face and then the sad face satisfactory more inclined with the mediocre face right yeah yeah satisfactory yeah. is like it's like so when you're like filling out a survey it's always like you know really good good satisfactory bad garbage right it's yeah. like those are the options usually and so yeah i do feel like satisfactory has some kind of some some slight negative connotations nick and i'm kind of interested nick in is when you think of the word satisfactory, is there anything that comes to your mind? Anything that like you encounter in your day to day life that you find as just satisfactory? Just satisfactory. Like um, you don't love it, you don't hate it, but it's satisfactory. My hair dryer, Isaac. Your hair dryer? You don't yeah. think it's a great hair dryer? You think it's just it's satisfactory? It's just satisfactory, Isaac. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. Bish bash bosh. You know? Is it is it is it a Bosch hair dryer? It's not a Bosch hair dryer. Uh, I don't even know if Bosch make hair dryers. <laughs> it's not a lie, Isaac. But I wish it because, was. I'm sure if Boss yeah. made a hairdryer, it would be a good one. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. I mean, they make they make normal, they make clothes dryers. They make they do right? make clothes dry. In fact, we own one. Well, my right. Uh, oh own, wow, and it's you know it does it does the job. Yeah, I mean, if they make normal dryers, surely like drying hair is the yeah. same as drying wet clothing, right? Exactly. It's pretty, basically the same thing, right? Yeah, it's much exactly. finer, and a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I feel like that could. I feel like yeah. I feel like they could. They could really do that. Do you think? Do you think there's room in the market, Nick, for a device that you place on your head that dries your hair? Yeah. You think like a hair dryer that you just you place on your head? I've been to like like public baths in Europe and stuff, and as hair dryers, they've got like these things that you can like that are on the wall, then you can raise and lower, and you stand under them. Oh. And they like blow dry your hair. Oh. They're like hand dryers, right? On like a what? thing that you can move up and down. And then you stand under it and you position it, obviously, up or down to your height. So you place it above your head and you flick the switch and it goes, Shh, and it just dries the hell out of your hair. It's amazing. Oh, wow. That's I've, that's that's incredible. I know. I've also seen makeshift versions of this in like B&Bs where it's literally a fan, like a room heating fan that's been screwed to the wall. And then you just turn it on and it blows downwards to try and try and dry your hair. Um, oh man, that's insane! Yeah, man. Like I, why why don't we have these? I feel like every home in in Britain should have one of these installed. Like yeah, you should just come 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 as standard as part of a part of, as a part of like a, a bathroom. Get yeah, it done. Like just have man. a have a hair drying device. You know exactly. What the heck? Exactly. Jeez, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not loving this. I mean, I'm, I feel bad now. I feel like I'm being conned. Yeah, you, know? you feel like everyone pick else up your the little hair dinky hair dryer. Yeah, when you can stand under these freaking jets. There's me using like a a, a towel to dry my hair, and then these yeah, freaking guys have got you just so like, 19th century oh, Isaac. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. I feel like a fool, Nick. Yeah. Feel like a fool. There you go. Uh, quick question, Isaac. How do these power? How do power poles work? Like with the cables? Right. So, 
Right. So you place down power poles every so often and you connect them with cables. Um, any further questions? That's, and is there a maximum range that I can view or? So what I tend to do is like, I, 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 I grab the power pole. Yeah. Right. I go to where the power pole, where the power is generated, which are generators here. Yeah. Uh, you click on that, it'll be blue. And then you just start dragging. And then when it says cannot place, that's when I stop. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think it is the, the point is a maximum distance. Let me have a look. It might actually even tell us in the uh, in the in the thing. Um, no, it doesn't say how far it can go. It just said it can handle four line connections. So, so I think as long as you have the wire, here, let's say, to, will this work? I mean, just can you keep going? I mean, I can put it wherever the hell I want, Isaac. This power pole. I mean, I guess you keep going then because like the, you want it as far close to the the copper as possible. Like, so there's no cable distance. I don't know anything. I don't know. I have okay, to I'll use put two. it here for now, and okay. I'll see if I can cable it. All right. No, the cable is. is it will be placed down. No, 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 no. It's automatic. Look, it's already. Oh no. Oh, okay. it wasn't doing that for me. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. Pick it, pick it up. So F, and then deconstruct it. Uh. Yeah. Come back. Come back to the. Come back to the the hub. Right. And then, when looking at the biomass machine thing. You should see like you should be able to like click on the on the on the biofuel ge generator thing. Uh, invalid aim location. That's what I'm getting. Oh no! Okay, sorry, Nick. I'm I'm, I'm misinforming you. Press two. Yeah. To get your wire out. Right. Then click on this and then start moving. Uh, it says you can't. Oh, can't connect more lines. So I'll do it with this one. You can't connect more lines to this connection. Okay. That's fine, Nick. I think what we're going to have to do is split this up. Yeah, sure, sure. Right? So, like, I think what we want is... Okay, well, <laughs> first things first. Can we, can we disconnect power lines? Configure power poles. This one is not consuming. How do I disconnect a power line? Uh, yeah, maybe at the test stage. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, because you can only deconstruct. Oh no, you can, you can. I think I can deconstruct this power line. I did it. How did you do that? So I got my deconstruction tool out and just aimed at the wire. Ah, that makes a lot more sense, Nick. That makes a lot more sense. Um, in that case, Nicholas, I'm gonna put down a power line right here. Okay, so now... And then I'm going to connect this. Hold on, I'm going to connect... Do you have any wire that I could use? Y yes, I will do that for you. There you go. There you go. And then also if you could connect from here to this uh, crafter, the constructor. Yep. Okay, and then now, just using your wire, grab grab this, and then just start running in the direction you want to run. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. And eventually it'll tell you when you can't... That... When you run out of sense. wire. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what I was trying to get you to do. I see. Not I just see. not just keep going. And I was just... gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this can go quite a way as well. Yeah, like, this, this is like can go really quite far. good. Like I'm still. Go I think I can make it all the way. Nice. Um, one thing I have noticed, Nick, in the uh, in the crafting bench here is that we can make biomass. Yeah, I saw that wood. too actually earlier. So yeah. I think it's, I think it, I'm assuming that it's just like better than leaves. So I'm going to sure. start turning some of my wood here into, into biomass. I made a hundred, uh, 300 biomass here. So I'm just going to throw that in and hopefully just, yeah. So the biomass lasts for six seconds, whereas the leaves, I think only last for like four. Ah, uh, so it's more efficient. I see. I, I see. think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got the, the limestone is currently being crafted into concrete that's set up that's doing its thing mm -hmm. uh, i need to go get some more plates because i need to start making more conveyor belts because we've got quite cool. the distance to go i'm gonna make some more cables there we go now i'll be able to take that all the way do you reckon i should just put like the concrete into a uh into a storage container for now yeah why not <clears throat> as long as we remember know where it is that we can get access to it yeah i'm gonna put it it's gonna be like right next to our our hub honestly like it's just gonna be like right there that's the plan at least Oh, I need I need more. Oh my god, I can I can make tonight ones. Nice. Yeah, I'll make a little storage hub. I feel like for stuff like concrete that we're not really using for anything else just yet, I feel like the storage hub should make a lot of sense. And I've got all the ticks and everything. Obviously. Oh yeah, look at this copper ore, a hundred and twenty oh. per minute. Oh, that is what beautiful. I want to see. Beautiful. That's very nice, Nick. Very nice indeed. It is. 
So that means in like four minutes, we can we have enough copper to provision to make our five hundred wire, right? I mean, for, does it, it doesn't take one. It doesn't take one copper per. No, per it doesn't. Need, no, it doesn't even. So it'll be sport. quicker than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, let's start faster. making the bits for Hub Upgrade Beautiful. 5. Nice. How's the copper plates machine doing, actually? Let's have a look. All right, how far? Can this get all the way into here? I don't think so. I think we're going to run into... The conveyor belt is too long. Okay, that's fine. Nick, this is a long-ass conveyor belt, my man. The one that's mm. coming from uh, from concrete back to home. I mean, I've made it. But man, is this thing long. Wow. <laughs> it just keeps on going. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is quite something. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I... Oh, I need to hook this up with power. Of course, of course. Okay. I think I probably don't have the, uh, the power lines required. The cables. Right. Yeah, I don't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I also do like that you move slightly faster on the uh, the conveyor belts as well. Like if you run on yeah, the conveyor well, belts, you can get places them, yeah, boost. a little quicker. Yeah, it is, that's uh, real nice. It is indeed like uh, Factorio in that case. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, Nick. We're getting somewhere here. I feel like, mm. you know, no longer am I having to go back to just mine iron every time I need to make exactly. something. You know? Now it's it's getting a little easier. We can, we can mm. put the pieces together. I like it. All right. So as soon as I connect this wire... We should begin producing concrete. Cool, nice. And then we need 30. 30 of those. Nick, we are producing 45 concrete. Oh, sorry, no, we're producing 15 concrete a minute. Okay, that's cool. So two minutes is all we need for the for our next hull upgrade. Yeah. Uh, it might take about four years for the concrete to, to move across arrive. this conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but once it does arrive, we'll start. We'll you know we'll have like a constant supply coming in. It's just the initial initial uh, period of transportation might take a little while, right? But it's it's all going to go into the storage anyway, so that's that's fine. Um, okay, so we're looking at hub grade five. So we need 150 plates, 150 rods, 500 copper wire, and 30 concrete. The 30 I, concrete actually seems like the easiest part. Honestly. I'm there with the copper wire. I'm almost at 500. So Beautiful. Here Beautiful. you go. There's got to be a way to make this faster, right? Are we just supposed to, like, is the idea that we, we set up another miner with more iron and, and go again? I think again? so, because it is quite, it is slow, isn't it? Like, I go expecting to see, like, the world's supply of iron plates and there's, like, 30 in there. Yeah, that's the that, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's not crazy fast. Like, we do have another iron deposit right here, so we could just start mining more iron. You know, mm. we could do that again. But I do agree that it does seem not... Not it's not as lightning fast as I would have hoped. Nick, no, honestly, I do feel like the bottleneck might be the iron ore though. Like I just took a hundred iron ore out of the smelter. Oh, did you? I see. Yeah, I think right now it's faster just to manually smelt it. Okay. Well, obviously it's definitely faster, but you know it's obviously more time consuming. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah. the uh, the smelter seems to be our bottleneck here. I am I interested see. to see if there are actually splitters that we can use. Un I the surely right otherwise like factorial style that splitters. would be so unintuitive you'd think so you've, you've done that while wow, already beautiful nice mm. and we're halfway there with the plates uh i just nicked them out the uh the thingy i'll work on the rods i think i can get us a lot of rods here i'll go and grab that concrete let's have a look oh yeah look at these they look like bags of wheat <laughs> have any of them made it to the, uh, the, yeah, the storage container yet? There's, there's 12 now, almost. Nice. Yeah, 12. So they nice, are making nice, it nice. now to the, uh, to the Beautiful. Thingy. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that, that conveyor belt is quite the sight, right? It's so long. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so I need 130 iron rods. Nick? Oh, here we go. I'm just stood holding the craft button. Have you noticed that the uh, like the craft button box like furiously shakes? Yeah, if it's a very quick one to craft. make. <laughs> I have noticed that. Actually. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm really hoping there's some use for water in this game. Like, I really want to like have to pump some of that water out. I want I want to be rewarded, Nick, for building our base so close to water. Right? Sure. I would love if there's some kind of process that there must be. Right? There's got to be some kind of of, of process. I want to see big old pipes pumping big old, you know, liters Gushing of water. water. Yeah. All over the place, yeah. Everywhere. All right, there we go, Nick. 150 Beautiful. iron rods. Take oh, uh, some more iron plates. So we need 51 more. 
All right, I've also got the concrete. That cool. is also ready to go. Kapow. So we're just missing 51 iron plates, iron plates now. now. Yeah. Just waiting our I've got Boy. I've got 22 on me. Yeah, we'll come in. Boom. Look at that. Here we oh, go. Nick, at the start of today's episode, that uh, that hub upgrade 5 seemed unattainable. It seemed so far away in the distant future. You know, I didn't think we were going to get there, Nick. But and yet here we are. Yet here we are. Do you know what I really like? I really like that the stacks are go to 500. Like a stack is right. 500 <laughs> items. That's very useful. Not uh, not 64, no? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> we're in a different world now. We're in a different world. Yeah, we're in a whole new world, Nick. A whole new world. Oh, man. 19 more to go. We're almost there. I've got 17, 18, and 19. Right. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at those big old bags of flour on the way over. That's crazy. Here Are we out power? Looks like they've stopped. Yeah. They have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, we're our juice. I'll put some more uh, biomass in there. Yeah, there we go. That, the wood pulp biomass definitely does uh, a much better job. I see. Right, Isaac, go and get a good view of this base. So we're about to hit oh, the hold button. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, Nick. Hold, hold, hold yourself. Hold yourself. I'm just quickly, I'm distributing our biomass optimally or as optimally as I can. Okay, that, that'll do. All right. I can see the base, Nick. Give it the upgrade. Oh, yeah. It gets taller every time. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, Nick, we've got a mem. Oh, wow. What is... We've got... What? Is this like a... A molecular analysis machine is what it is. Oh, my God. I've got some barrel nuts. You know what? Here, let's go scan it. How do I, anal how do I analyze this? What? Begin analysis. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Look at that. It's going to take five minutes. Jeez. At first, I thought it was going to be five hours. I was going to actually be <laughs> furious. That would have been normal. If that was five hours to, to analyze. That's going to take five minutes to analyze, but I do have them. I also have the flower petals. I don't have the alien uh, carapace. I think we get that from killing certain animals. Sure. But that's, that's new, I guess. We've got, like, new bits there. And our base, again, is ever so slightly taller now. We've got, like, this... Oh, Nick! We've got, like, a little spaceship-looking thing on the top of this here. You see that? Ooh. It, it kind of looks like it. The Sky 3. Huh. So, I, would, oh. I have seen that there are vehicles in this, Nick, that we can, mm. like, drive around in. I would love if we could fly. Like, that yes. would be insane. But then, Nick, that's tier zero complete. So now of we're six at tier tiers, one. I believe. Yeah. And we've got a choice actually between tier one and tier two. I don't know if we have to necessarily yeah. go in, go in the same way. Um, I see jump. I see walkways and jump pads. A huge jelly landing pad. A t look at this. We can make freaking jump pads, Nick. Look at the tier Jeez. two. Jeez. Jeez. That's insane. A lookout tower, some wooden walls and doors. So we can actually build like walls around our base now. Biofuel walkways. logistics. We can get Nick. Look at tier one logistics. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. It is. Split conveyor mergers. splitter and conveyor merger. Oh, man. And we also get the ability to make storage boxes, which I think is going to be useful. And then if we can get the walls, we can get like windows and stuff and staircases. And oh, there's all kinds of stuff here, Nick. So the next one, if we can get 200 plates, 200 rods and 500 uh, wire, that's when we actually unlock those, those splitters and whatnot. Um, but before we focus on that, though, how would we go about building like some foundation here specifically ramps thing i feel like you know thankfully nick everything there is made with concrete and we have right. got a i don't know if you've seen this conveyor belt nick we have got lines as far as the eye can see of the good stuff send in the concrete to us nick send it as that beautiful light gray goodness so if you want to grab some of that nick we can uh we can do a little bit of ramp building here like you know i'm kind of thinking like here on the way up to the base i wonder so if we, we don't can... have to like jump over onto it so we'd have to jump you know yeah going back to what we were saying before nick you know it's all about the uh, the wally experience i don't want to have to run exactly. i don't want to have to jump i want to just be able to do well yeah look at now this. unfortunately i think our, our our base is like an awkward height yeah. to do this <laughs> like i can do a bit of a weird ramp like uh this which you know 
doesn't really work. You still got to jump. <laughs> you still have to jump. <laughs> Get rid of this. I mean, I feel like maybe we should. Maybe, maybe Nick. The whole idea is that we kind of start fresh, almost, right? We like build our own foundation and then sure. put our things that we work with on top of that foundation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, look at this. Like that. Like that. Yeah, and like we can put our own things on here and then and then work with this. And then once we have the research in place, we can actually start to put down like walls and and all that kind of stuff as well. I mean, look at this. I don't have any wood, so I can't build any walls, but let's have a look. I can build surely. I think you can you... make wood from biomass. Uh, it's the other way around. You make biomass from wood. Oh, I see, I see. So you get wood when you uh, when you pick up leaves. I think you occasionally get wood as well. Right. Or when you pick up like little, little stick bits on the floor, you occasionally get like wood and wood and leaves. Like I've got four, four wood now. Uh, I did use a lot of it on on other stuff but you actually don't even need wood to make the wood walls you need uh iron plates and concrete so it's just iron plates that we're missing at the minute nick uh, to actually make this surprisingly the wood is not used at all in the construction of the wooden walls obviously all right here we go let's have a look so i mean we got we got wooden wall i don't know if we want wooden walls or if we want steel walls what do you reckon i mean it's got to be steel but you think i don't know i feel like the wood might mix it up a little bit like give, this give is what, go. We could, you know we can put both down this is the steel wall like that and then this is the wood wall. Quote unquote wood wall. Oh, maybe you know, it looks quite majestic. Yeah, I don't think it is wood. I think it's uh I think it's like an orange plastic, right? Right. Here we go. Yeah, let's let's take a look. We don't have the uh, ability to make any doors or anything just yet, so sure. uh, any entrance where that we have to our building is is strictly just going to have to be a, a hole for the time being. But I mean, yeah, look at that, Nick. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're on, the, we're on the precipice of being able to get a nice base, Nick. And um, I don't know if you did take a quick look around, like, what we can get in Tier 1 and Tier 2. But one of the things we can get uh, in bulk is, like, building materials, you know? Under Tier 1, right at the end there, we can get, like, staircases that go up. We can get, you know, perpendicular walls, walls with windows. All kinds of stuff, Nick. All kinds of stuff. Gates. Walls with doors in them. Oh, you know? wow. So it's like proper yeah. base building, then. Yeah, definitely. Under tier one and under uh, utility, and also under conveyor walls, there's really quite a lot of a lot of base building mm. expansion that we can work with, Nick. Oh my goodness! Under obstacle clearing in tier two, Nick, there's a chainsaw. Ooh, uh, plus five inventory slots there. Yeah, I know. Oh, is oh, it man. crazy? That's too. Much. I'm super. I'm super interested, Nick, in these jump pads. Yeah, because it's like it's like something out like portal. Jump it is. This like launches into the air. I also want to know how much faster we walk on walkways as well, because that seems like it's going to be really interesting, Nick. But I think, Nick, those are all questions for future Nick and Isaac to deal with. Mm -hmm. Holy heck, we've got iron automatically being made and smelted and turned into plates. We've got limestone automatically being mined and turned into concrete and pumped into our barrels here. I love this concrete line. Nick. This is like my pride and joy right now, This watching this concrete just slide into that that storage container, Nick, it's fantastic. And we're almost at the point of having copper, right? Like the power is over there, it's being mined, it's just not being sent over, is what I'm led to believe. Mm. That's correct. So it's all being mined, it's mining at a really fast rate as well, 120 per minute. So that's probably full at this point. Um, nice. So nice. yeah, it just oh, needs to be conveyed I love over. it. You see like this mist, Nick? It's extremely pink right now and also very misty. It's quite nice, actually. It is really nice. You want to go for a quick swim, Nick? You want to just go like jump yeah, in and... Yeah, here we go. And, and let's, give us a dive. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bit of skinny dipping. Oh, I love it. I didn't actually you could go under the water as well. That's interesting. Uh, I'm a little a little scared of the, the creature that I saw. Yeah, so I'm going to leave uh, the water we'll like inst <laughs> instantaneously. Flipping egg. Oh, man. Nick, we are making some real progress here. I love it. I love it. The automation is coming on real mm, nice. Very but, well. For now, we can go ahead and wrap up for today. As always, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.